Hi everyone, my name is Shane Musai and you're watching Musai Tech. And today, today, dun dun, you know we have? Before we talk about today, last year, Xiaomi bought out this Poco phone. This phone had came out at 300 US and it was the OnePlus killer. It killed a lot of phones because it was the cheapest phone with the latest specs. It was the cheapest phone you could get with the latest processor and relatively same amount of RAM as flagship phones last year. But there was a problem with this phone. The problem was the quality, the build, wasn't at premium. So you're walking around the phone with a plastic back in 2018. I mean, iPhone, Samsung, everybody else had glass back, back, glass back, which felt a lot more premium and looked a lot more premium. And, um, well, clearly it has a crack in the screen already. It wasn't my fault. Anyway, now, Xiaomi, one year later, they listened to our call and they brought out the successor to the poco phone the k20 pro by red well xiaomi redmi k20 pro now this looks ultra premium and ultra beautiful it's aesthetically pleasing to look at so if you just look at that shine so it's a very reflective kind of color changing pattern they have going on here the only thing is that Yes, it's prone to finger um, fingerprints. There's a lot of fingerprints you tend to get in it. But when it looks at this beautiful, I won't mind. In the box, you get a case so that you protect it. But the case is a black case. Why would you have a black case with a beautiful design like this? It kind of, it kind of um, covers the, the beauty if you put it on. And also it's a plastic case. And I personally hate plastic cases because if the phone fall, the shock transfers directly to the glass and it could also cause the glass to shatter. It doesn't really protect the phone from drops. It just protects it from scratches. So I would always recommend people to get a kind of rubber or TPU rubber type case and to protect the phones from shock if it falls. Because most time we damage our phone, it's usually a cracked glass. This phone came out in May of 2019, so May of this year. And... Uh, it has a Snapdragon 855 processor, but it comes with different variants of internal storage and different variants of RAM, depending on which model you could afford. It comes with either 6 gigs RAM and 64 gigs internal storage, or 6 gigs RAM, 128 gigs internal storage, or 8 gigs RAM and 128 gigs internal storage, or 8 gigs RAM and 256 gigs internal storage. These versions I have here are the best in the market right now. This is the 8 gigs RAM and 256 gigs internal storage and well it has the latest processor snapdragon 855 so it's very good very good for gaming very good for performance it is it has actually been faster than the s10 um, samsung s10 plus that i've tested so far also um this phone has 4000 milliamp power battery which is the same amount as the poco phone last year but not many phone manufacturers has been able to surpass that or surpass that by a lot. So this is still one of the largest batteries you'll find on the market today. So this phone that we have in front of us, the Xiaomi K20 Pro, has an AMOLED display. So you can get two blocks and you can see, um, if I put the brightness on all, it's very bright, it's very sharp. It's a beautiful display, it's a full 1080p resolution, so it's full HD resolution. And um, it has Gorilla Glass 5, and the screen to body ratio is 86.1%. So it's a very, very huge screen to body ratio. There's a very small bezel at the underneath, and a thin bezel at the side, which I don't mind at all because with other phones with little bezel at its side holding the phone, you tend to touch the end of the screen. This doesn't allow for that. And there's almost no bezel on top, an extremely thin line on top, as you can see. Extremely thin line. So you'll be wondering, well, why is there no notch? Or no cutout hole for the camera. So where's the camera? Well, they have a motorized pop-up camera. If you look at it again, it's a nice beautiful light that comes on when the camera pops up and it also comes on when the camera goes down and it makes a funny sound. Um, so that's a fun camera. So if you, since we're on the topic of camera, let's talk about the cameras that this phone comes with. This phone comes with a 48 megapixel main wide-angle lens camera which is a f1.6 aperture and there's also a telephoto with two times optical zoom at 8 megapixel f2.4 and there's a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera f2.4 as well megapixel that doesn't say everything because 
CS past the Google Pixel has been one of the best cameras on the market by multiple reviewers and benchmarks. And that phone has only had around 12 megapixel camera. And there's phones with 48 megapixel, phones with 20 megapixel, phones with a lot of megapixels. They're sticking in megapixel, but the pixels aren't always clean. So what we're gonna do now is take some photos to see exactly how clean this camera is. At the 12 megapixel here, um, standard lens, this is the shot. If I use telephoto, this is the shot. And if I use the ultra wide, some reason the ultra wide, I just find it hard to focus. Now, if I go to the 48 megapixel camera, this is the shot. This again is the standard shot. So 12 megapixel from the standard lens, telephoto lens, this is the shot, wide angle lens, this is the shot. So you saw the camera quality. Let me know in the comment section below your views on the Redmi K20 Pro camera. Also, it has an in-display fingerprint scanner, so the fingerprint scanner is right here. Now, this fingerprint scanner is not the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner you will find on the Samsung S10 and so on. It's a optical fingerprint scanner that they managed to put below the display. Selfie camera is a 20 megapixel camera and it's able to video record at full HD, 30 frames per second. However, the back camera is able to record at 4K resolution, 60 frames per second, which is really good. There's USB type C. We have fast charging straight out of the box. We have a fast charger capable of 27 watts of fast charging. And the colors that this phone comes in, well, we have two colors here. We have flaming red and glacier blue. I'm not sure which one is my favorite person. I like both of them, but let me know in the comment section below which one you think is nicer between the flaming red and glacier blue. But it also comes in other colors. It also comes in carbon black and a pearl white color. Now, again, before I go, this phone currently sells around 360 US online, brand new. And in Trinidad and Tobago, you can get this phone starting at around 2800 for the base model, or if you could go all the way up to 3800. Downside is that this phone doesn't have um, the capabilities to expand your storage, so it doesn't have an SD card slot. Now, I can't remember the last time I've worn out of storage because of Google Photos, where you could store unlimited photos on the cloud. So I can't remember the last time I wanted to storage. But if you're a person who stole a lot of documents or do something else, or have, I don't know what you would do with more than 256 gigs of music. But if you're a person that have a lot of something on your phone, then this phone might not be the, the, um, the option for you because this could only go up to 256. It doesn't expand beyond that. Um, but it's extremely cheap compared to the Samsung S10 or the other flagship that have the Snapdragon A55 chip processor. This phone also has a 3.5 millimeter headphones jack. Now that's very rare to find on a phone in 2019. And so this is one of my favorite features on phones these days. If I see a headphone jack on a phone, I know this is a phone for me because all my phones must have a headphone jack. I think it's a beautiful phone. It's a beautiful design. There's dual flash. And um, yeah, that's my view on it. So if you like this video, if it helped you, if it was informative, um, some of you may not have ever heard of this phone, some of you may have heard of it. So if you find it interesting, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it because there's somebody out there who ain't that tech savvy but looking for a good phone. This may be one of the best budget buy for 2019 because it has 2019 specs, it has flagship specs, but it's at the budget price range. So that's my view on it. You let me know your views in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching so much. And for his sake, for his sake, please like, subscribe, and share this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.